Have you ever seen so-called security questions in the web applications? So something like this. On some sensitive page of web application, instead of asking you the password, uh, the page would ask you something like this. Answer security question, which you filled in your own question and answer while registering. And then if you answer correctly, then you are allowed to move on. In this video, we will create something like that in Laravel. In fact, I have already created it and the code will be on GitHub. I will just go and comment how to do that. And the basis of that will be Laravel function, which appeared in Laravel 6.2, which is called password confirmation. So additional middleware called password.confirm, you can add to any route, and then this appears, confirm your password before continuing. I've seen something like that on GitHub, for example, if you want to change the access, so some sensitive data with user access with money stuff, uh, Stripe does that also. So some sensitive data could be additionally protected with password. And uh, this thing is totally customizable and we will customize that instead of asking password, it will ask security question. Now let's go to the code and I will explain everything. On top of default Laravel 7 project, first we need to add security questions and we add a migration security questions table, which contains just the string of question, nothing else. And a model security question.php with only fillable one question. Then we add a seed, so database seeds, here, security questions seeder. Just I've Googled some random five questions and added that into the seed and then added that to database seeder. So whenever you run DB seed, it will fill in the table. Next step is to actually fill in the security question while registering. It could also be an additional step in profile management or something like that, but I decided to stick that into register form. And to do that, first we have to customize register controller and register view. So register controller uses a trait called registers users and traits work in a way that you can copy and paste the code into your controller and then modify anything you want. So default show registration form, we will override that, copy and paste the same show registration form, but also add security, security questions to that and pass that as a parameter. And then in our register blade, we have these two fields. So select security questions ID and security answer as a text box. And then back to register controller to process that registration. We have create method where we add two new fields, which security question is it and security answer. And of course we add those fields in migrations. So add security questions to users, foreign key to security questions and string security answer and also added that to the model user it should be fillable both of those fields should be fillable so then whenever we fill the registration form we just choose this let's put abc into the answer and we are in and in the database we have new entry with question id3 and answer abc now let's protect some routes with that middleware password confirm close everything and open just the routes. And here's an example. We have middleware auth on a group of routes and then we have special route, for example, reports. I didn't create the actual reports, it's just view of welcome as an example, but route group is protected by password confirm. So if we try to go reports slash reports, we are presented with that password confirm page. Now let's take a look how did we customize that. So again, default Laravel contains confirm password controller and really similar like we did with register controller, we need to override some functions because it uses trade called confirms password and inside of that trade you have show confirm form and confirm post request. So we override both of them and in controller we change, let's see what we've changed. In the form we have security question from the user table, oh and we added the relationship in user table in user model security question belongs to so that is important to and then we pass that to the view and password confirm blade it's also default laravel i've added a few if statements so if we have security question then we have a different form we will get back to that also if security question another title security question and finally in else we have whatever was before as default laravel so we are interested in this part. So we show the question, we show input field with uh, value all security answer if there is some validation error. Also we need to put in error validation if there is an error and button submit confirm answer and it submits to the same actual route password confirm because we will override that as well. 
So if you take a look at confirm, we added this thing. So default in trade, it looks like this. So request validate and all of that. So on top of that, we added this if. So if there is a security answer, and if it is not equal to the user security answer, then we redirect back with input and with errors. Otherwise, we just proceed with whatever logic was. So if there is no security questions at all, it will work as default Laravel 6.2 or later. Let's try it out. So let's enter something. It redirects back, sorry, wrong answer. But if we put ABC, it puts us through to the reports, which shows welcome page. And that's it. So this is the way how you can incorporate security questions. You could put them in another place of your application, maybe not in registration or maybe not on the confirm password middleware. If you want to know more about that password confirmation function, I have a separate video about that. As soon as it was released in 2019, I've shot a video. So in the corner, you see a link to that one. Also, as usual, I advise you to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button to be notified of new videos because I'm shooting them daily now, every weekday, except weekends maybe. So it's totally worth to subscribe. See you guys in other videos.